Okay, so how many phylums are there in the animal kingdom as far as we're going to need? Nine. Nine for us. Now, if you check another book, you might see 11. Um, the AP book sometimes has 11. They break in, break some sub phylums, but we're not going to do that. So, based on this, we have nine phylums, and we have this hand up, hand up we've been calling our animal phylum review sheet. I've also been calling it your bread and butter, your go-to handout. You're going to use this to help you. For example, some of the specimens in this lab we're going to do are listed here. And it's going to be pretty obvious. If some of this is intuitive, like, oh, that looks like an insect, it looks like a dragonfly, okay, it must be an insect, and scroll down and you'll find out it's an insect. And you'll know its class name, okay? So it says, obtain, obtain a chart. So here's the directions, okay? First thing it says is obtain a chart. And you have your chart. Your chart that we have since numbered on the front, 1 through 19, on the back, 20 through 38. So we have 38 specimens. you got to add a little box there. Okay. Yes? Um, so can you put the number in the number box on the side? I want you to write the number either you in the number box or as far to the left as possible for this reason. So let's let's do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this bigger, and you'll understand why I want you to do that in a second. Hey, guys, I paused for a second. doesn't mean it's chat time. Okay. So let's go through the steps. So... Again, you're not going to try and fill out the chart as you go along. You're not going to fill out the chart as you go along. You're only going to do in class the number and the name, the phyla, the class, the symmetry, the body type. You're going to do at your seat when everyone's done going through every specimen. And look, my number one is your number one. However, not everyone's going to start at number one. These guys are going to start at one through four and then someone in the back will be starting here. you still got to go by my numbering system. I've had students do it where they just, whatever they start, they make that the number one, and they get it all wrong because of business practices. Okay, so don't do that. So here's your chart, and something else. All right? When we do this, it says move from spe specimen to specimen, okay? Then after doing it, complete the chart. You got that. The big three things that we have to identify, we need to know, know is it a vertebrate or invertebrate? This is the only thing I'm going to allow for an abbreviation. You can say I or V, and you mentioned, you know, the number thing. I want you to write that as it says in the directions. So you'll have the number, you have the name. In this spot, I want an I or a V. Do you get that? I or a V for whether it's a vertebrate or invertebrate. How do you know if it's a vertebrate or invertebrate? All right, your animal phyla sheet, the first eight phylums are all invertebrates. On the back is the chordates, the vertebrates, and there are seven classes. So, if you know the phylum in the class, if you know the phylum, you know the class. Because because you'll know the specific name. So, all right, what do we what about type of symmetry? What do we do for that? Um, okay. If as we said earlier, um, before taping, your animal reviewer sheet has listed it as nine phylums. One, two, or eight are going to be asymmetrical or radial, and if it doesn't say it on that sheet for characteristics, then assume it's bilateral. Lastly, type of body. Acelomate, pseudocelomate, celomate. What is it? If you use your animal phyla sheet to help you. Um, one, two, three are acelomates, four is acelomate, and the rest are acelomate. Right, so if it's within the first three phylums, it doesn't have a true body cavity. Or no, if it's the, four, uh, the fourth one, shh, hello. If it's the fourth one, there's only one of them on, on my specimen list. It's got a false body cavity. And then true body cavities, all right? This is going to come into play uh, when we elaborate on the true difference between animals. But So that's that's really what we're doing. And then you got seven and eight are um, questions about circulatory system. We are low on time, so normally, I have you guys fill that out, but we're gonna I'm gonna leave that part off. So we're gonna go through body type for today. All right, this part save for next class. I may not end up having you do it. Um, let's see what else. The specific questions. All right, I'm gonna count this for extra this time. The specific questions. Oops, there's the list. <laughs> All right, see these? This says these are specific to the actual specimen number. So specimen number one, this is a question about how many body openings. Um, number two, so you notice I didn't ask an additional question for every one of the 38 specimens. 
but that's what we did. So, are there any questions? Okay, after you guys get started and I get it set up, I'm going to be in the back and I'm going to open up the mystery box. One of the specimens is going to be on the table and have a larger version of it in the mystery box. Will the larger version be a lot? No. So, to show you what this is going to look like, each one of you, I'll ask you to clear off your desk for a reason. Take a look at this picture here. And yes, these are my feet. I'm on the table again. So what's going to happen is you're going to have a specimen. Hello, we're going to start this lab shortly. You're taking out of our time. Focus. Lab specimen in a card. Specimen in a card. Just to zoom in a little. All right. So here's specimen number four. I just lifted up the card. That question that's written there isn't on the card this time, but that's, that's the back from when I first did this. So, all right, are there any questions? I'm going to start passing out the specimens. I need you to wait your seat until I go all the way through. So, let's take